Okay, this is Phil Lee returning with another episode of Inside Digital Media, and today's podcast is a video podcast that's going to show you how you can publish an ebook at Amazon.com. Now, there's four things I want to mention before we show the actual demo. First is, this is surprisingly not difficult. All you really need is your existing customer account with Amazon. If you don't have an account, just open any kind of account, and you can, you're authorized then to go ahead and publish your own ebook. Uh, secondly, the royalties on the ebook are very high. They can be as high as 75% and as low as 35%, but that's much better than publishers normally provide. And third is, it's really going to enable people to publish books that have never published books before. People that haven't even thought about publishing books. Let me give you a concrete example. Assume uh, XYZ Corporation is in the business of showing others how to optimize their Google AdWords campaigns. XYZ Corporation could put together a $5 ebook and put it up for sale on Amazon.com, which essentially becomes a 21st century version of a business card or a calling card. The book will explain enough to demonstrate that XYZ Corporation really knows what they're talking about when it comes to optimizing Google AdWords. And anyone that buys that book essentially becomes a prospect for their consulting services. So whatever your business, you may find that you want to publish a five-hour book as well to explain enough about what service you provide to convince prospects that you really are an authority. Then they read that, they come to you, hopefully, and, and become buyers. I, I think that's significant. And then I, I glance back at this bookshelf behind me and I realize that what Amazon.com has done here is really transform publishing. And the Kindle in and of itself is a big change in the form factor, but Publishing is in the midst of radical transformation in 2010 and 2011. So watch for that. This is really quite significant. Let's go ahead and watch the demo and see how you can do this. Hi, I'm Jason Kuykendall from the Kindle self-publishing team. And today I'm going to show you how to use our digital text platform to upload your books to the Kindle. Kindle books can be read on a whole variety of devices. We have applications for the iPad, for the iPhone, for Macs and PCs, for Blackberry phones and Android phones. So this is the easiest way to get your book in front of the largest possible audience. To get started, you'll need three things. You'll need a digital file of your book. That could be a Word file or an HTML file or a PDF or an EPUB document. You'll need a cover image, and you'll need some basic information about your book, like the author and the publisher name. With those things, open up a web browser and point to, to dtp.amazon.com. And you'll come to the home page here. I'm going to sign in with my Amazon account. This is me. And as I log in, I'm taken to my own home page. This is my bookshelf and it will show all the books I have on, on the Kindle today. So we're going to add a new title. I'll click the Add a New Title button. And it's really a two-step process. We enter some information about our book and upload the book, and then we identify our rights and the price. That's all there is to it. So the first step, enter in your title, How to Publish on Kindle. Uh, if your book is part of a series, you can enter the title and volume number, or if it has a special edition, you can enter in the edition number. I don't have those things, though. And now I'm going to enter in a description. This is what a customer sees when they shop for your book on the site. Now I'm going to identify the people that were involved in the book. First, the author. That's me. And you can see that you can also select if the person is a narrator or illustrator, an editor. There are several different fields, but in my case, author. And I'll click Save. Now I'm going to enter some details about the book itself. For example, the language. What language is it in? Mine's in English. The publication date. It's an optional field. The publisher name, Amazon.com, also optional and the ISBN. If you don't have an ISBN, that's fine. Uh, you can skip it, but if you do have one, put it in because it is a good way to uh, link your digital book with your physical book. Content ownership. Is this book in the public domain? Well, not mine. I wrote this book, so I'll say I hold the rights to the book. And now browse and search. Browse 
is essentially the, the structure that a customer sees as they browse through the Amazon site. So I'm going to say mine is computers general. And search keywords. I'll say Amazon.com publishing Kindle. Now we upload the cover image. It's a pretty simple process, kind of similar to adding an attachment to an email. So I find my JPEG image and I click upload. That will move the image from my computer onto DTP. And the last step is uploading the book itself. So first you select digital rights management, in other words, um, the uh, restricting the ability of a customer to share the book with somebody else. If you want digital rights management, say yes. If you don't, say no. And now browse for the book itself. Here's mine. It's a Word document. And I click Upload Book. What's happening now is the platform is taking that book and converting it from a Word file into a Kindle file. And we're going to save and continue while that happens. The second stage of this is identifying my rights and entering my price. So in my case, I have worldwide rights for my book, but you can identify individual territories if you want. Um, you're going to pick your royalty. We have two sets of terms, a 70% royalty and a 35% royalty. There are different restrictions. For a 70% royalty, you need to price your book between $299 and $999. If you have a book that's more expensive than that, that's fine. You can publish it, but you will get the 35% royalty instead. I'm going to opt in for the 70%. And finally, list price. I'm going to enter my price, $999. And it's going to calculate uh, the delivery fee. If there is one, the average fee is in pennies. Usually it's four or five cents. My book was quite short, so it probably didn't have any kind of uh, fee at all. And then it will show me what I will make. In my case, I'll be making $6.99 on my book that I priced at $9.99. The last step, confirm that you have all the rights necessary and you accept the DTP terms and conditions. And the last step is simply to click the Save and Publish button. When you do that, it'll take up to 48 hours for that book to move onto the Amazon site and be purchasable by customers. Okay, I think uh, if you didn't fully understand everything that was said, feel free to contact me, Phil, at InsideDigitalMedia.com, or you can phone me at 813-837-3631. Okay, thanks for watching.